other than just composition, we can look at asteroid densities to try to learn something about what those asteroids are like. So um, suppose that maybe asteroids could be made of rock, which has a density of three grams per cubic centimeter. And they can also contain some ice, which has a density of about 0.9 grams per cubic centimeter. So let's say that we found an asteroid out there with a density of 0.73 grams per cubic centimeter, what would it be made of? So the um, density of solid rock is three grams per centimeter cubed. And thus, if we have a density of 0.73, that's less than three. So it cannot be possibly made of solid rock. And for the same reason, it can't be made of solid ice. And so if it's less dense than either rock or ice, then that means it could be made of both constituents, but also it must contain some empty space. Uh, in order for it to have such a low density. So um, this gives us um, D, but it also tells us that asteroids uh, densities can be used to tell us whether they're solid objects, which would mean that they're you know, possibly original planetesimals or whether they're rubble piles, which means that they have been broken apart and maybe their, you know, their surfaces at least are younger than the solar system. And when we think about asteroids as original relics, right, original artifacts of the solar system, it helps to know whether they're solid or rubble piles because that tells us about, um, you know, conditions uh, at different times in the solar system's history. So studying a solid asteroid would be studying one of the original pieces of the solar system. Okay, so another question. Uh, given these densities, which one of these two asteroids would you say is most likely a rubble pile? Okay, so now there are more votes for A that Matilda with a density of only 1.4 grams per cubic centimeter would be a more likely rubble pile. And that's right. So if it has less density, then it has more empty space within it. And so it's more likely to be a tenuous uh, collection of rocks and ice held together rather than a compact solid body, which would be more dense. You can kind of think of it like a trash compactor. The two uh, asteroids could be made of the same types of materials uh, but if we have a, you know, more space in between, it's going to be less dense. Uh, but if that rubble pile was a compact solid body, you know, pressed together with a trash compactor, then it would have higher density as that empty space would be, uh, wouldn't be in the asteroid anymore. Okay, so um, these asteroids, Matilda, Gaspar, and Ida are notable because they're some of the first asteroids to be imaged by a space probe. And so uh, we were able to um, use information that we found from this mission to, to find their ages. So of these options, which is the most likely way to complete this sentence? By using some method, we found that Matilda Gaspra and Ida are about 200 million years old. And this suggests what about their formation? Uh, it turns out that the probes that we sent did not collect material from the surface of the asteroid, so radioactive dating would not be possible to do. Um, other asteroids have since then been sampled, and so we do have radioactive dating um, ages for some asteroids, but not these ones. So these ones, uh, the spacecraft that flew by, was only imaging their surfaces. And so what we, I think it was the Galileo probe that went to Jupiter. Um, so we had to use crater counting to figure out the ages of these. And 200 million years old is very young relative to the whole solar system. So this suggests that these are not original bodies, but instead they formed um, later via collisions. So the material is original, but their you know, current forms uh, were reformed uh, in collisions. Okay, so um, Itokawa was visited by Japan's Hayabusa spacecraft and this asteroid was sampled. And so we did get radioactive dating from samples from its surface that were brought back to Earth. And this um, asteroid, I mean, doesn't have very many craters, right? It looks like it's just covered in kind of boulders and, and little pebbles. Uh, and this um, asteroid is only about 8 million years old. So just a wee baby in in terms of its you know, age compared to the whole solar system. So I hope that you know, the examples that we've shown so far show a wide range of different ages. So the histories of asteroids can be pieced together by looking at these ages, either from radioactive dating or from crater counting. And we can kind of get an idea of um, what was going on in the asteroid belt throughout the history of the solar system. 